Well, it's uh, just one of the mornings that we try and meet up, obviously, with uh, being a charity that when our volunteers are normally on duty after hours. So Monday to Thursday, we run from 7 o'clock in the evening to 6 o'clock in the morning, and then we cover all weekends. And due to that fact, it's quite difficult for us to actually get to see each other. Uh, quite often, we're out and about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning by yourself. Start off with just one bike, and uh, now we run a, a fleet of six bikes and a Yeti that's sponsored by uh, Ansley Williams and we use that in, in bad weather. No one gets paid for any of the services they provide and it's just a way that we can all give back to our community. Christmas time is very busy. Uh, obviously um, we cover uh, all out of hours certain times and that includes all bank holidays and Christmas is one of those longest periods. Last year, uh, 2016, we covered from the 24th of December through to the 2nd of January and we did over 150 calls during that time and that was 24 seven cover for the whole period. So it's a busy time and we really do appreciate the volunteers that uh, are looking to get out of the house on some of those days. Um, but you know, it's, it's a crucial service we do provide. And again, if we weren't doing that, the hospitals would have to be relying on either a taxi service or a courier service. Firstly, I love motorbiking, and secondly, I work with children with special needs, and I also had somebody very close to me who was in a nursing home, and I used to see the lads and girls coming in and out of the nursing home, collecting samples and taking them to be tested. When we had a bit of extra time, we decided, myself and my partner, that we were going to join the Blood Bikes and give something back. It's very rewarding, and even though there are nights when you're very wet and very cold, and you wonder, what is the call going to be next? There are always calls that are very rewarding and you know that at the end of it you've done something really good. It hurts me to see that kids are struggling, you know, barely clinging on to life and if, if they can't get a, a test from one side of the city to the other or if they've been transferred up from a, a, a regional hospital to Dublin because they're very ill um, and something hasn't gone with them that it could be life-threatening. An analogy one of the guys uses is we're not the only person on the back of the bike when we're carrying samples from one hospital to another. They have to get there safely. The only way that we can do that is by having our riders trained to a standard, uh, a ROSPA standard, uh, at minimum silver, uh, where possible we want gold. If we didn't do what we do, the hospitals are going to pay for a taxi to transport the stuff, or they're going to take an ambulance crew off the road at massive cost. So when, when there's a service like ours at play, we're doing it for free, it's putting the, the, the savings straight back into frontline patient care. In terms of the, the increased support from public, from corporate, it's, it, it's huge. We wouldn't be able to do what we're doing because it's completely publicly funded. We don't get any, any state funding to do this. It's giving back to the people who, who, who are sick and, and not in a great place in their life.